Welcome back to the show. I think we've had you on every year but the pandemic year, I think. Uh, yeah, I, I think so, too. I yeah. think so, too. Testing, testing. We're working. Yeah, because he wants to eventually, you know, be in his sports radio. I think eventually, like, a future in this. Ah, no? You know, I might be on, like, a, on the ocean somewhere. In the I don't blame you. Know. Where? Like, where in the ocean? It, it what are you thinking? Be, you know, it, it might be somewhere. Washington far. area? Or? No, no, we're talking about... Tropical? Panama area. Oh, okay. Panama. Okay. Yeah, okay. Well, way over there, you know. Oh, man. I just got back from South America. I just got back from Norway and oh, Switzerland. Okay. So I was swimming in the fjords in Norway. How long of a flight is that? You know, yeah, I flew from here to London. It's like eight, you know, nine, ten hours. And then from London over to Oslo, Norway was like another two. Oh, okay. Two hours, 15 okay. minutes. Not over. very tropical up there in Norway, though. Yeah, I've never been over there. No, but, you want yeah. the tropical places, yeah, huh? Yeah, I like the tropicals. Uh, yeah. Good for right. your skin. All right. So, so, so let's make a deal. Let's, uh, let's, Let's, let's let's be here same time next year doing this show. Me, you, me, you, and Burnsy. What do you think? Hey, you know it sounds good. It sounds good. You know, hey, for me, I just control what I can control, and uh, you know, just live day by day, one day at a time. And uh, you know, most importantly, we're in training camp, living in the moment, working hard, grinding, and uh, you know, trying trying to win games this year. I know, and we'll talk about that. But you are. This is the closest you've ever been to free agency. Like you're gonna be a free agent in March. Like, yeah. so for you, do you want to get there to just explore the options that are out there for you? Would you rather work on something, getting it done here, or do you think because I'm so close to March, I'm so close to being a free agent, I might as well just play it out and see what happens. Yeah, you know, for me, um, you know, I have a great agent in Athletes First, David Mulligetta, and, um, you know, he does a great job of uh, talking to, you know, of course, Monty and all those guys, and um, he kind of just leads me out of it. And uh, like, like I asked him to, and for me personally, it's just to live in a moment and to, uh, you know, just work hard. And if the things come, they come. If they don't, you know, I'm going to continue to be who I am, plus more, because I put the work in each and every day. So, you know, for me, it's, you know, can't control any, you can't control that type of stuff. So it's all about controlling what you can control. You know, a lot of people can't do that. And me personally, year in and year out, that's all I try to do, no matter what, is control what I can control, play great football at a high level and as a team I want us to win games you mentioned that not a lot of people can do that that not a lot of people can compartmentalize that and put it away yeah is it really that easy for you to just I mean like when you say I don't think about it you, you just really put it in a box and put it away and that's it you don't think about it yeah you know uh, you know I have a very good faith in God um, you know I'm a Christian growing up and for me personally uh, you know what Ever God has in store for me is that's what that's what my destiny is. So it's very it's, it's it's that easy, you know. Just take it one day at a time. You know, I have a I have a tattoo on my arm that says each day is not promised. So you know, live to, live to your fullest each and every day, whether that's at work, at home, how you treat your spouse, how you treat your kids, how you treat other people, and uh, that's that's my main goal each and every day because I'm not promised the next. How do you feel with the pads on? What what what? Oh, yes. what right? Okay, like yes. the, the face just there it is. There's that Buddha. Yes. You know, $10 million smile right there, right? Yes, was it yes, that kind of yes. moment for you? It was very exciting, you know, very exciting, especially being fully healthy. You know, as last year, you guys know, and I tore my hamstring and, you know, coming back about 80%, I'm, you know, trying to play the best football I can play, but I knew I had some more gears in me. But, you know, like you said, control what you can control. And, uh, you know, ultimately I got involved to a Pro Bowl. So that that's good. And all the personal accolades is all good. But for me, I'm just trying to win games. You know, I've, I've said earlier in this week, you know, I'm just a sore loser. So, you know, uh, that's how I, that's how I approach the game. I want to I want to win the day. I want to grind. I know it's going to, you know, take a lot of hard work. That's all I'm, I'm ready to do. And uh, when the, when the game comes, we're going to be ready. You know that you're one of our favorites. So I, I'll ask you about this because we're always happy for you when you make the Pro Bowl. It's been a great career. Or those accolades are well-deserved. And we know the teams don't throw at you. And so, you know, the interceptions and the fumbles forced, yeah, yeah. They, don't, they, don't, they don't come as much. But I do want to ask you about this because Antoine Winfield had a great year. Yes. yes. And his father was upset that he didn't make the Pro Bowl and shared on Instagram and compared his son's stats to yours yes, yes, and demanded a that, Pro Bowl that. recount <laughs> saying that basically you didn't deserve to get in and his son did. Yeah. Hey, and to that, you know, that's his son. So, of course, he's going to say that. He played in the league. You know, he's a he was a really good player in the league and, uh, you know, 
kudos to Antoine for, you know, um, um, having that great year. You know, I've actually talked to him about that, but I also talked to him about, you know, um, you know, he talked to me about my agent and possibly, you know, coming to Athletes First and joining David Mulligetta. And I told him, you know, all the great things about him and to come on over. So, you know, for me, you know, I'm I'm not really paying attention to that because I just try to play football, man. I, it's not my fault. I'm not getting these certain situations uh, that that are happening. Does that me. bother I'm just you? Trying to play football. Does it bother you that they don't that that you don't get the opportunities for the interceptions that oh, other guys do? Of course, do? of course. I'm a DB. You know, I, I want to get the ball. I want to have those takeaways. I want to I want to get those forced fumbles. I want to do all those things. But you know, when you play football at a high level year in and year out, you know, guys are you know teams start to try to you know know. Where you are at all times and you know even if you're not blitzing you they're gonna fan to you so that's what we can do as a defense to help that out un, to help that out understanding that you know guys know where number three is so you know we can try to do some certain different type of things and you know possibly might, we might be doing that this year so um for me it's just like I always tell them, just control what I can control, play football at a high level. If the plays come, they come, but don't reach for plays because that's when I'm not doing my job. As far as team stuff goes, and you've been here for, I'm not going to say a long time, but you've been here long enough where you've kind of ridden the wave, right? Yes, the good yes. days, the bad days, and the good years and the bad years. Yes. Where's your optimism for this year? Where, where, where? How do you feel about this team and their chances this season? Yeah, well, you know, I, I, feel, I feel very excited about this team. You know, uh, Monty and and all the, all the guys did a great job of uh, getting some free agents and, you know, getting a lot of great players in the draft and Marvin Harrison and, you know, all the guys we drafted. So I'm very excited. Um, you know, for me, I don't like making any predictions, but uh, I just take it one day at a time in this training camp. We had a great week. We had a great day today, full day and full pads. And, you know, we're going to continue to grind. We're going to continue to work hard. And when it's, you know, time for the season, we'll, we'll be ready. What made you want to get up in front of everybody? Was it planned with that first speech? No, 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 not planned at all. You know, I, I uh, you know, I went up to JG and I was like, hey, can I just, you know, talk to the team for, you know, a few seconds? Just want to give him my insight. And, um, you know, that was it. And, you know, of course, he said, yes, you can. And for me, it was honestly just talking to the team about not having any regrets, you know, because at the end of the year, always you have those regrets. You have those situations where, oh, I could have made this play or, oh, I could have made that play or, oh, I could have did this better. And for me, it was just a, this is a fresh slate, a new year, new team. So don't take these days for granted. Let's, let's work hard. Let's, you know, be great teammates to each other. Let's compete at a high level and let everything else take care of itself. Don't listen to the outside noise. You know, it's all about the guys in the locker room, the guys in the circle, and we're going to work and we're going to grind, and then we'll see where that takes us. All right, you mentioned Marvin Harrison Jr. Now with pads on. You got to play. He catches the ball. How, how how hard do you hit him? Fifty percent, seventy percent, eighty percent. You know, I'm I'm tagging off on Marvin. I'm okay. tagging off. No All hitting right. Marvin. No hitting Marvin. No hitting Marvin. Okay. I'm tagging off. All right. So even with the pads on, certain guys you'll you'll pads shy away on, from. Pull no, your no a little bit. Marvin. Yeah. Yeah. I might you know I might hit try to hit the ball, but he does a great job of uh, holding the ball with two hands when he's in traffic. But uh, no hitting Marvin. Okay. But Zay Jones, you can hit. Zay Jones, you know. Sorry, Zay Jones, but you you can. Hit Zay Jones. Okay. Hit Zay. Okay. Zay Jones. Uh, Michael Zay Wilson. Jones, shout out Zay Jones. Zay's listening right now. He's like, wait a minute. Hold on. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm thinking, you know, Greg Dorch. Greg, Greg Dorch. Greg Dorch. Hey, man. Uh, you could hit him. Don't hit Greg Dorch, man. Don't hit Greg Don't? Dorch. Okay, how do you... Hey, Greg Dorch tried to uh, crack me today. And no, he did not. Oh, he did? I didn't really see him. You know, he hit my shoulder pads, and all I heard was, Ugh. <laughs> <laughs> So shout out Greg Dorch, you know, not being afraid, coming in there. And, all right, you know, so he so should be fair out. game then. He should be fair oh, game? Oh, of course, fair game. Okay. <laughs> so, but Marvin does get treated a little bit differently. You know, he doesn't. But he does. <laughs> he does it. He does. It. I'm just joking. Wink, That's wink. <laughs> Buddha, as always, you know we wish you nothing but uh, the best. Yes. We really want you to be sitting right here. I'm going pre- yeah. to be sad next year. If, like, hey, look, will you call in if it doesn't work out? Can you just call in? Or <laughs> whatever training camp you're at. Do it. Hey, just, <laughs> you know, miss you guys, hey. that type of thing. It's <laughs> tradition. We don't want it to end. Thank you, Buddha. Hey, we appreciate thank you guys it. Best for having of luck me. this year. You bet. Buddha Baker, our guest here on the Burns and Gambo Show. If you want to see the 2020. Thanks for watching Burns and Gambo. Click to see more from the guys and hit the button in the middle to subscribe so you never miss a video from arizona sports.com slash tickets for more when we come back on the burns and gambo show the big story of the weekend 
And Tyus Jones is now a member of the Phoenix Suns. How exactly is that going to work? We'll talk about it next on Arizona Sports. I think somebody noticed that the Suns needed to add some point guard play to the offense. After signing Monte Morris to come off the bench earlier this month, they went out and got themselves a starting point guard last weekend. Tyus Jones comes in from the Wizards to run the point and to leave all Suns fans wondering, who comes off the bench now? Is it Bradley Beal as sixth man, Grayson Allen, Bowl Bowl? What's Coach Bud going to do? More questions. How did the Suns get Tyus Jones to sign for a vet minimum deal? And how many more players from Duke can the Suns get on the squad? Stay tuned for answers on the home of the Suns, Arizona Sports 98.7 and the Arizona Sports app. Arizona Building Supply, a new name, the same people you trust. Arizona Building Supply is the new banner for USLBM's locations in Arizona. Crown Components, Foxworth Galbraith, Holderness Supplies, RK Building Supplies, and Trust Fab. As a leading supplier of top quality building materials, including lumber, trusses, wall panels, doors, windows, millwork, cabinets, siding, and even more. Arizona Building Supply will deliver even higher levels of service to customers in the Phoenix metro area and across all of Arizona. If you're looking for new windows, they carry all the top name brands. Milgard, Marvin, Anderson, they do the work themselves. They don't subcontract it out. So if you're looking for a team of professionals to help you get the right windows at the right price, you want to get in touch with Arizona Building Supplies. For more information, go to azbuildingsupply.com. People who suffer from long-term chronic joint pain spend so much of their time acting, putting up a carefree front. It's exhausting. I was really tired of trying to act like I wasn't in pain because I was in pain all the time. Rick Rawlings didn't want everyone else to know that he was coping with agonizing shoulder pain 24-7. Yes, I had to put on a face (laughs) to cover up my pain. But then Rick found QC Kinetics, offering new lasting treatments for joint pain using natural biologics. Treatments designed to restore and repair joint tissue with no drugs, no surgery, no downtime. The results were amazing. I am very glad. It changed my life doing the QC Kinetics. Today, my shoulders feel wonderful. The cranky Rick is gone. He's not grouchy anymore. No more acting. (laughs) Feel like yourself again with a call to QC Kinetics. Call QC Kinetics, 602-837-PAIN. That's 602-837-PAIN. QC Kinetics, 602-837-PAIN. Pain. We're a two Ford family. Yep, Paul Calvisi here. In fact, Ford has been part of our family for generations. Built Ford Proud dates back more than a century in this country. And the future, it is here at our Desert Ford dealers. Like those F-Series trucks, built Ford tough. And the all-new 2024 F-150 with the all-new interior and exterior is designed to be the most rugged, dependable, and productive ever. No workbench, no outlet, no problem. With Pro Power on board and that convenient work service, the F-150 has you covered suvs there's the ford bronco sport with five available trims the ford explorer with all the advanced tech plus three row seating that folds down for tons of cargo room and you gotta love how there's a powertrain for everyone gas hybrid electric like that 2024 ford mustang mach e 100 electric 100 suv with sports car performance and zero tailpipe emissions bottom line get to our desert ford dealers and see how a new ford fits your future at buy ford now now.com. Lose up to 